Hey everybody, this is Andrew Darling, and this is my review of the Power Bank 3200 milliamp hour extended battery slash case for the Samsung Galaxy S4. I picked this up on uh, onesaleaday.com, which is something I try to check out literally every day. Um, and it's a pretty cool case. This is the case itself. Um, the top piece kind of pops off here, and you press it down to hold the uh, phone in place. You have your battery here, I'm sorry, your battery indicator. You just press this power button and it'll charge the phone itself. That's the micro USB. And then this part here closes in. The back, you have your hole basically for the speaker. And at the bottom, you have your micro USB charger. And here on the front, there's also a hole for the microphone. So in order to put it on, you have it like this. You simply slide your Galaxy S4 in it and push it down until it clicks onto the charging part for the micro USB. Simply hold the phone in place and press down. It'll actually close all the way. And now, as you can tell, it's in there pretty good. It's not going anywhere. All right, and then in order to charge it, it's pretty simple. You just press the button and the phone will turn on because now it is charging. And then you can just simply turn this off and of course, the phone will turn off like it normally would when it's not charging whatever you have it set for so overall it adds quite a bit of heft to the device um, it is heavy it's pretty thick but it feels really good in the hand um, it's not overly heavy so that it's uncomfortable it does not block the camera at all one thing that it is kinda odd about it is the kickstand the kickstand is just not very sturdy at all um, that is the only downside I have found with it so I'll go ahead and set this up here on the box itself and if you look I actually have the box canted forward a little bit um, and if, if you see this corner here which is the side the kickstand is on it's just not it's not stable it's not staying on the ground because the kickstand is causing this causing it to be off balance it's a little bit um, off kilter but that's okay that's fine um, I'm not huge on the kickstand anyway I use it for the battery itself and a little bit of extra protection that it does add so um, I'm going to do uh, add a link down at the bottom. Um, it's going to have, I put all the screenshots together during my challenge. What I'm also going to do is ensure that I can go over those real quick while I'm talking to you. They'll make sense. Basically, I got about 36 hours out of the uh, device with the Galaxy S4's battery as well as the Power Bank 3200 milliamp hour um, extended battery slash case slash whatever you want to call it. Like I said, it feels good. It didn't limit anything. The speaker quality was still fine. When I spoke with people on the phone, they said they could still hear me from the mic. And it doesn't add much. Um, it can get a little tricky pressing the power button because there's really not a big gap here. Let me see if I can get it to focus in on that. See, right in here, there's really just not a very big gap. So you reach in to press it, and you're going to press it most of the time. Sometimes you might miss it, but that's not really a big thing for me. So like I said, I got just under 36 hours. Um, by the time it actually died, it was right at 36 hours. I went 24 hours essentially without using it, without using the um, extended battery. I didn't turn it on until a little over 24 hours. I turned it on for three hours and 20 minutes, and it jumped it back from about 18 back up to 50%. Keep in mind, I was still actually using it. The There is actually other um, models like this. There's a white one for it. And there's also a black one that has the kind of flip cover over the front, as well as a white one that has the flip cover. So there are a couple different options, and I'll see if I can find the links for that. Like I said, I got it off of one sale a day. Um, I thought it was something interesting, so I checked it out. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, like I said, is I'll go over the screenshots real quick, which you obviously have to take a look at the link to my Google Plus page that I just posted prior to redoing this video. So I started, I got through the first day put it on the charger for about three hours it wasn't on the charger it was simply pressing this button here on the case and let it charge for three hours twenty minutes and it was essentially the case was essentially dead at that point and another thing that i think happened was having the case off of the charger for an entire day caused the case to drain a little bit even though it wasn't being used to charge just how any other battery would drain a little bit if it was not on the charger so I got down to the end, I ended up with 3 hours, 52 minutes of screen on time. I still had about 8% device idle and about 8% of the Android OS, but 
52% was just simply the screen on time. The, like I said, the total was just under 36 hours of usage. It's definitely, you know, worth, I think I paid 30 bucks for it. I'm not sure what the um, cost is here, but I'll have the links for that so you'll be able to check, the, check that out. Like I said, I have the links to the uh, power bank case. If I can find some of the different options, I'll put the links to that on there. I'll put a link to the post to my Google Plus page. And this is just a really quick review. Um, is it worth it? Yes. If you can get it for under 45, under 50 bucks, it's definitely worth it um, to have. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to get an anchor. Uh, it's either 52, 56, or 5800 milliamp hour battery here soon. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to see if that's going to give me a little bit more time uh, just because it's a single battery instead of a case that has a battery in it that may be dying while I'm not actually using it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Again, thanks for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. This has been my review of the Power Bank 3200 milliamp hour full coverage protection, built in stand, LED, power indicator lights, case slash charger, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, it's a pretty cool device. I actually use it. It doesn't add too much to the device. Um, a little heft, but like I said, it's not too bad. I would recommend if you get it for under 50 bucks, you should be good to go. So let me know if you want to see anything else uh, in particular. Like you see, I have the Galaxy S4, and I will be doing a quick review on the Blue Tank uh, feature phone. The battery on this thing is crazy. But I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I appreciate it. Y'all have a good rest of your night. And again, I'll put all those links down at the bottom. Go ahead and link and uh, like and subscribe the video if you can. And I will go ahead and keep going from there. So I appreciate the time. Have a good one.